everybody, I'm Dave. And I'm Brenda. Today, we're gonna do a review of our Curtis cab on one of our golf carts. We've had several of you reach out and ask, do we like the uh, Curtis cab uh, or not? So we're gonna give you some of the pros and cons and what our thoughts are about the Curtis cab. So stand by and we'll give you the details. All right, we're gonna start off with uh, talking about some of the things that we that drew us to having the Curtis cab. Um, you know, specifically, we kind of like the the style of it. The, um, you know, it's kind of got a little bit of form and shape. You may see how it kind of sticks out a little around the edge. That kind of drew us to this uh, style cab. There are several cabs, um, open the doors for them to be run There are several types of cabs out there. Um, I don't want you to think that we did all this research and came to a conclusion that this was the best cab. We just liked the way it looked. <laughs> We're simple. Yeah, very simple. Um, we did prefer to have an enclosed cab with her mom uh, yeah. just for security, for riding around. She preferred to have that uh, on there. Uh, so, and for Molly. And for Molly, our dog, yeah. yes. So, uh, there are two types of Curtis cabs, and when I'm saying Curtis, so let's get see the thing. That's what we're saying. Curtis cab is the brand. Uh, we got this at the Village Golf Cart Store. They had another type of cab similar to this that the bottom opens. Right here. Um, it slides over. Yeah. In our opinion, it just didn't feel as sturdy. This felt like it had some sturdiness to it, I guess. Yeah. The other one felt a little thinner. Um, it is a, a plastic material, but it's fairly thick. Can you open that door for me, Brenda? Yep. You can see right it's there. Hard, it's, it's a hard plastic. Yeah, it's fairly thick. Um, and we have the one that slides. Notice it stays fairly close to the cart. It doesn't swing out. There's some that will swing out. Yeah, there's two types that they sell, or they did in uh, 2020 when we got this. So this, do it one more time. So it just kind of slides back. It only comes out an inch or so and slides. There, uh, there's another type that swings out. When you open the door, Kind of show you how it would swing out. It would come out probably about this much, I would yeah, say. Yeah, I think it's eight inches to a foot. Yeah, it out, comes out. And swings and then, around. Yeah, so then it would, yeah. Yeah, but we preferred the slide so it didn't come out and maybe hit a cart beside us. The latching. Uh, see how well it shows. I'm not sure how well you can see that. It's just a little latch. And then, if I was in there. I, I can get I'd it. Get it there. So right there, it just pull and it opens. And for closing, you usually just get it right there and just pull it shut. Mm -hmm. You don't have to slam the door for it to shut. Um, I think what other things to show you before we get into some of, oh. Well, Shopping basket. Um, yeah, but that's not part of the Curtis cap. <laughs> All right, on the, uh, uh, the way. <laughs> <laughs> we'll clip that part out. <laughs> All right, the uh, um, I lost my train of thought now. <laughs> What's important to me? All right, now the primary reason that people get these doors, in my opinion, the reason we got it, I guess, mm -hmm. um, is for the ease of closing and opening it if it rains. You know, we get yes. a lot of rain here in rainy season, yeah. and we also. I do have some cooler weather this time of year, especially we're out for our golf cart rides in the morning and it can be 50 yeah, in the fifties mm -hmm. in the morning. And then it warms up to the seventies and to put the sides down the roll down sides, that just takes a little more effort. So what we're going to do is we're going to demonstrate uh, how quick these things uh, can, can you go inside. Of course, it's pretty obvious how quick it is to open and close these doors. I like this one. So, Starts raining, just close the door. Sun's Open. back out. And we're gonna do a Done. comparison on our other cart that we have, we brought over here. And to be fair, we're only gonna do the sides as if it was the door. Okay. Now picture if you're riding down the cart path and it starts to rain, um, it's nice to be able to stay inside, slide the door closed. This is what you do with the standard cart. You ready? And go ahead and I'll put a little timer up. 
Oh, so I'm being timed? All right, I'm good. <laughs> All right. I've got some, some experience doing this. Oops. And then two buttons. All right, hit both sides. Whoa. Okay. Because you don't want your passenger getting wet and the driver. Or and that's the driver. true. Usually we, my mom is in the front over there, so we do her first. Yeah. And then I would get in here. Well, go ahead and do it from the outside just for time. Oh, close the front. <laughs> I thought it was reality. Yeah. <laughs> All right, the time. All right, well, <laughs> so that's, that's, that's how long it takes when you're standing out in the rain getting wet. Now, of course, putting it away takes even longer. So watch this. Remember to put it away on the other cart. You just open the door. All right, let's see how long it takes to roll these up. Ready to time me? Yep, go ahead. Okay. No pressure. I know, I know. The world is watching. I know, and the timer <laughs> clock is going. <laughs> Now, these sort of have some pre-fold marks on most of them. I, I cheated and, uh, and used that yeah. pre-fold mark. And it's that cart there is over almost three years old. And yes. the, uh, the fold marks, we take them down quite often. The uh, the sides and the, the pre-folds um, stay there pretty well. I'm being neat. I'm trying to go faster. <laughs> All right, here we go. Once you get past the fabric, it does go faster. See, and, and it... It's just time consuming to do this every time. So if you're opening and closing a lot, that's why people are drawn to the Curtis cab or some sort of hard enclosure with a, a door. Am I on the clock for the other side too? We're gonna to take this one, I'll just double it. <laughs> so we don't have to do the other one. I can do it. All right, we're good. All right, now we talked about some of the uh, uh, you know some of that difference in the time for it or the advantage of having a, a solid door that you can open and close quickly now i want to talk about some of the negatives that we've we've heard and experienced Let's see if i can turn this around so you can see where we're at here Thanks. um there's a couple of things i'm going to demonstrate this there is a significant blind spot on the curtis cab there is uh, just something to be aware of it wasn't a deal breaker for us we were aware of it um i highly recommend recommend test driving one of these with the cab on it if you're looking to get this type of curtis cab now remember everything we're talking about is 2020 cart mm -hmm. they may have changed it may have modified it but uh this this is the way it is on our cart and other people have talked about that spot that uh blind spot mm -hmm. um so the blind spot i'm going to demonstrate in a minute there's also some um, discussions I've heard out there of hearing some rattles, that it's a, it's a rattle sound. We have not experienced not that. Not in this one. Ours seems to be pretty quiet. Um, mm -hmm. So I'll just let you know another reason to test drive one um, before you buy it. We're not noticing any type of rattle mm -hmm. that's coming from it. Um, and the other drawback uh, is it you are a little more enclosed. You don't get the same experience as you do of having a full the golf cart hair. open. Yeah, <laughs> a full open golf cart like our other one. Um, so you get get the full wind experience. Uh, the door is open. You still get plenty of air, and uh, you know get plenty of circulation in there. But it is a little bit different feel. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna set things up so we can do the Show demonstration the of the blind spot. Be right back with you. All right, for our blind spot demonstration, we're going to have uh, two cameras going. One is, is on the front windshield looking back at us so you mm -hmm. can see what we're doing in here. And the other one, I'm going to be holding this camera, uh, kind of balancing it on a leg. Uh, hopefully it'll be fairly steady. But this will give you the view that I was talking about, the blind spot. Before we get moving, um, this the blind spot is right here. Um, of course, you have the mirror. And the mirror is mounted fairly high mm -hmm. due to the shape of the, the plastic right here. It kind of sticks out. That's, that's the main area that they like to put these. So it was pre-mounted in that spot. Um, and it does cause a little bit of a blind spot. Right now, you're probably not thinking it's not too bad. Mm -hmm. um, but as you go on curvy parts of a path, it that, does get to bad. be an issue. Yeah. So let's head that direction. We're going to go down Hog Eye Path. And you may notice on this camera that's looking at us, um, 
there's at times you may see if a cart's coming towards me you're gonna see me move my head over it's just out of habit that's how I compensate to be able to see and we've had this cart long enough Carts. it's all automatic to compensate that way I find yeah. myself doing it all the time um, at the beginning you know I'd look to make sure and now it's like I automatically just do it so I'm, I'm used to it. I mean, I would definitely get one again. Yeah. Now, right now, that cart wasn't too bad. It's when I'm curving to the left and a cart is coming. And hopefully we'll have some carts come to us in this area. Or it could be a walker. Yeah. Um, could be a lot of things. I'm trying to keep this camera roughly where my eyes are. You're about an inch below where my eyes would be. But I think you will get a very similar view. And of course, we'll be following people instead of passing people coming at us. But <laughs> believe me, somebody somebody will come this direction. This is such a busy street. It would <laughs> it would and it wouldn't be comical if nobody comes. All right, I see somebody coming. And again, it's these these when you turn a little to the left, is here. There's gonna be a cart coming, and it's gonna be in the curve. This would be a good example right here. There's a cart coming towards us. Yeah. And I kind of have to look, move my head over to the right to see it. It is directly behind the mirror and I can't see it. Here's another one. Um, now this one, he stayed in view pretty good because he was coming from a curve to the right. Okay. Then you're gonna have a couple more another. curves up here. So it, and it, it can be... Um, Nobody's coming yet. Yeah, it, it can be... People. Yeah, bicycles. people. And at night, yeah. um, it makes it even a little more... Um, Here's somebody. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, right there. I'm turning to the left. I barely could see that cart. And me holding this, I actually, I probably would not have seen it because I didn't automatically, I'm concentrating on holding the camera. So she told me there was one coming. I probably wouldn't have seen it. Uh, so if, if there was somebody that was having a problem coming over to my, my lane, uh, I might not notice it. So I, I think that is definitely something to consider. Um, there may be modifications or ways to do that mirror different uh, to help resolve that problem. But um, yeah, one more cart coming if you do want to go. Yeah, we'll go ahead and turn in here. I think we got it. Okay. All right. All right. Um, we're going to stop here. We're going to go back and switch to the other cart and demonstrate the difference in a standard cart. And you'll be able to tell it's not nearly as much of a blind spot. Okay. We'll be back in a minute. All right, we switched okay. carts and get this camera in position doing the exact same thing. Um, now, this is the open, uh, more standard uh, cart that you would typically see. Notice that the mirror on this, these carts are mounted a little bit lower. Um, and the only blind spot is this one bar here. I mean, you do have to have something to hold the window in. So there'd be a little bit of a spot. All right. So oh, you got the key. Oh, yeah. We had parked this and took the key out so it didn't get driven away. <laughs> Got it. All right. Ready. And we're going to do the same path. Let's hope we run into some carts. Well, not run into, but <laughs> hope we pass some carts coming towards us so you can see the difference. I mean, you probably already tell. It's a significantly um, wider angle of view. All right. Same path. Going by Hall Guy. They curve to the left and to the right, so uh, it'll be. Here comes a yeah, cart right cart now. coming. Very similar to last time. It's coming up on our left. You can still see it. You know, it, it really never gets lost in my vision. I don't know how it's doing on the camera. Is that bar there? It's about uh, one and a half, two inches with a little, a little bit of fabric strapped there where the zipper is to hold the, uh, the uh, side uh, screen, I guess you call it. And, all right, come on, where's the rest of the carts? <laughs> There's nothing else in sight. All right, right that's now. all right, okay, we'll find one. But if you look at the roadway, you can kind of get that that field of vision. And uh, it's like, it's, you're going to have some walkers. Too. I'm, I'm kind of closing one eye and looking at the other. The uh, <laughs> By having two <laughs> eyes, driving. it's even a, more of a field of view that I can see. So the camera might even make it look a little worse than it actually is on a regular cart. You know, your eyes are in two locations. And one's looking around each side of the bar a little bit. 
<laughs> it doesn't seem Maybe to help. Maybe a biker. Yeah. Hey, you see, he kind of went behind the bar momentarily. And here comes, oh, you've got three carts for the end of the ride. Yeah, all right, we'll have a little left-hand turn up. See, these right-hand turns, it doesn't matter because they're right in the center of our field of view. It's when, it's appro when one's approaching and you're taking a little bit of a left-hand turn. Is where we had the uh, the blind spot come into play. And when we last one will pass. All right, that's it. Pull on in the lot here. Uh, we'll go ahead and set this camera down. Yeah. All right. So we. Uh, like I said, the blind spot is probably the biggest thing to make sure you check out if that's going to be something that would bother you. If you're interested in doing a Curtis cab, highly recommend test drive it first. Yeah. And I was asking Brenda as we were between these these shots, yeah, you know, people have asked, would we have gotten if we had one cart? We're we're fortunate we have two, um, but if we had one cart, would we have put the Curtis cab on it or not for the one cart? So. You answer pretty quick on your end. My answer is yes. Yes. And I initially, when I we first got it, I, was, I wasn't I was sure because, I mean, it's, it's a fairly pricey thing to put on there. But my goodness, as we lived here a little bit and as often as either it's cool or it's raining, I've been sold on the convenience of closing the door. Yeah. So yes is my answer also. Hers was a yes from day one. Mine has probably been more of a yes um, over in this past year or so as I've, I've gotten lazier and not wanting to have to deal with putting these sides up and down. So anyway, again, test it for yourself. Don't rely strictly on what we're saying. We're just trying to give you our experience with the Curtis Cab. All right, I hope you, that was helpful. Um, do us a favor, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already done that. And thumbs up if you enjoyed the video or if it was helpful to you. And ring the bell on the YouTube page. It'll notify you the next time we explore the villages. See you next time.